action. My act is very like monotone, even keeled. So I try to just almost zen out in a way. Um, what I do, my I drink lots of energy drinks. Sometimes I like to listen to music because it gets it gets me the energy. You know, you get pumped up. I stretch. I do a little bit of yoga. Like right now, I've been um, I've been listening. What's that? Uh, that Eminem and um, a little Lil Wayne song. Love, don't baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt. Wait, that's the old school one. <laughs> I am the laziest comedian in captivity. I don't write nothing down. I don't, uh, as soon as I get up there, to come to me. I slept with some of the girl, and her name was LaCreature or some shit. <laughs> We're laying in bed, she turns, she goes, you let anybody in your bed. What if I was ugly? I'm thinking, shit, what if I was sober? The best advice was to get on stage whenever I could. I opened for Dave Chappelle once, and he gave me some advice. He told me, never leave where you're famous. Once you leave the club, you're just an ordinary person. Basically, as much as possible, get on stage and fail as much as possible so I could learn how to be funny. I kind of peeked in at the crowd, and they seemed kind of like hip, cool, because I normally play for a lot of rednecks. Not that I have anything wrong with it. If someone out there is a redneck, that's, that's a good living. When I was a kid, we had an African exchange student who came to stay with us. And I remember the first day he came there and he was like, uh, we were getting ready to sit down and eat. And my mom was like, um, Makuko? <laughs> Is there anything you're allergic to? And he was like, yes, starvation. <laughs> I become lightheaded, I get frail and weak. It's not pretty. The highlight of my career, I don't have a career yet, so I don't have any highlights. I just got back on tour for the Marines. They are very appreciative, and I had a tear when I was leaving. I had so much fun. I think I'm crying now. I think it was from D.L. Hughley who said, don't quit. And he said that like right after I had bombed. It was like a, a black crowd. I don't know if people know what black crowds are like, but they don't hold back. They basically do everything but shoot you like if you don't if you bomb. So you should be doing seven nights a week, dog. You gotta do it till it's like instinctive, like driving. When I was seven, my friend John was 13. He came over with a dirty movie and he was like, watch this, Vince. This is how babies are made. I'm like, ew, it took 10 guys. I don't wanna make babies with my friends. A perfect day in LA includes the beach, Halle Berry, <laughs> the beach. <laughs> a perfect day in LA includes uh, buying a ticket uh, out of LA, getting on that plane, and leaving LA. I don't want a baby, you guys. I'm paranoid. I don't want a baby. This is how bad I don't want a baby. Uh, I wear a condom every single time I have sex, and I pull out. That's how bad. <laughs> I don't want a baby. Right? I don't want a baby. I went on a date with a girl recently after dinner. She goes, oh my God, I have a food baby. I was like, what? <laughs> Ladies, I don't know why you love doing it. I have a food baby. What should we name it? Like, wh what the hell is a food baby? I was so confused. So I pushed her down the stairs, you guys. Am I holding it right? Check me out, Raw D. My name is Mark G. Hi, it's Mel Hall from Stand Up and Deliver. Don't miss my comedy on Nuvo TV. All right. All right, cool. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, cool.